My advice for patients facing a new diagnosis of lymphoma is give yourself room to breathe. One of the most important parts of developing the best treatment strategy and therefore the best outcome for a patient is knowing what type of lymphoma you're dealing with. One of the areas of expertise at Mayo Clinic is outstanding hematopathology colleagues who would really help to make a definitive diagnosis. That's really critical. As pathologists, we're the final word in a way of what the patient actually has. And our reports are what that patient will carry through with them that says what their diagnosis is, and that will impact every treatment down the line. If we know the biology of a given lymphoma, then we know how to potentially target that biology and sort of turn the tumor against itself. We've seen dramatic changes in how we've treated patients, and that has translated now into standard of care approaches using immunotherapy. Most recently, we've had the advent of CAR T-cell therapy, which has really changed um, what we're able to do for people who have refractory aggressive lymphomas that would otherwise not have had good options. CAR-T therapy stands for chimeric antigen receptor T-cell therapy. This is a technique in which we remove T-cells from the patient. They're genetically re-engineered in a lab to be weaponized parts of the immune system or seek and destroy missiles, if you will, for a certain kind of cell in the immune system. There have also been a number of other treatments where we've come to understand that the other cells that are milling around and not actually killing the cancer cell are what we call immunologically exhausted. They've just sort of thrown their hands up. But there are now treatments where you can block that whole kind of overwhelming message that the T cells are receiving. That actually reinvigorates and wakes them up and makes them fight the cancer in a far greater fashion. Here at Mayo, we participate and led research that involved adding an immune therapy to the usual chemotherapy, a drug called rituxan, that has been the only drug so far in the last several decades to improve the cure rates of patients with diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Radiation oncologists and surgeons, as well as radiologists who look at our scans, play a very important role in the diagnosis and treatment of lymphoma. The more we know and understand about what drives that lymphoma and what type it is, the better we can personalize that therapy for the patient in front of us. We're at the point where we've seen advances, but we're not actually getting rid of the cancer in everybody. My view is that we are not done until 100% of patients with lymphoma are cured of their disease with treatment. Mm -hmm.